Continuing on. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, look, it's the most, one of the most boring stocks you could ever own, Verizon, right? If you look at the chart, share price hasn't done dick in the last year plus. 4.5% dividend. Pfizer, 4.5% dividend. Really hasn't done dick in the last year plus. And like, if you're like me and risk averse for the most part, those things are great because they're just ATMs, you know. I get my I get my adrenaline fix from other things like Disney, Caterpillar, Microsoft when it's not being a shit. Some people get their kicks from Tesla, Bitcoin, GameStop. That's fine. Power to them. Not my thing. Um not my thing. I, uh, I've always preferred a slow and steady approach. Um, yeah, uh, I, I just don't have as much gyration <laughs> in my day-to-day, uh, action. Um, I will have higher lows and lower highs, generally speaking, but, uh, I still you know, year over year, um, do pretty well. It's, uh, yeah, I just, it's just, some things are far too volatile and far too violent and it's just not my preference. Um, which fine. Some people love that shit. I mean, some people love it because it does feel like gambling when you're doing that, but it's just not my thing. I, uh, I like to live my comparatively comfortable life. So I like to keep things status quo. Um, I don't need to make, you know, 2000% in two weeks on GameStop. I don't need that. I don't really want that because I don't want to pay the taxes on that either. Um, I just like to do my thing slow and steady, which my friend Roxel makes fun of me for all the time, <sighs> which is fine. I'm used to that. It's nothing new. Um, I just like slow and steady, man. Because you know? I always tell people, don't invest any more than what you are comfortable with losing, in theory. Um, now, of course, if you invest it smartly, you're not going to lose it. Even if you're down... At some point, you're not going to lose it. Like you're not, you're not going to go bankrupt betting on, or or investing in Microsoft, or Apple, or Costco. You know, boring. Maybe not boring. Well, some of them are boring for sure. But like blue chips, you're not going to go bankrupt on blue chips. Uh, it's, just, it's not going to happen. Um, even GE, which is just such an abortion of a stock, you're not going to go bankrupt on it. You'll <laughs> lose money unless you're patient enough to wait for the turnaround like I haven't been. I've been waiting for GE to turn around for the better part of the last decade. Still hasn't done it, so maybe this year's the year. Who knows? Um, but you're not going to go bankrupt. Um now, if you're join, jumping on the Reddit trade and you're buying GameStop at three or four hundred dollars a share, and then it fucking tanks, you're probably not going to go bankrupt, but you're going to lose a lot of money. I mean, I was follow I I follow the Wall Street Bet subreddit, um, and there were for every guy that doubled their money, uh, there was someone that halved their money. Um, because it takes fresh buyers for something to be continually going up. It takes fresh buyers uh, or more, the same buyers just pouring more money in. But in doing that, they're raising their cost on it. So, you know, if someone bought GameStop at $30 and then again at $300, assuming it's the same amount of money they put in, you're, you're raising your cost basis significantly. Um, 
So you just got to be careful. I mean, I've seen, I saw screenshots of guys putting their stimulus checks into GameStop and tax returns into GameStop, bonuses into GameStop, like life savings into GameStop, and it's scary and it's sad. Because for a lot of guys, a lot of people, afraid about guys, a lot of people, guys and gals, or non-binary, a lot of people lost money. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm happy for the people that made money, but if someone's making money, more often than not, someone else is losing money and something like that. You know, it's just too volatile. It's up and down and up and down and up and down and Jesus, it's all over the place. You know, if you, if you have the good fortune to time it properly, then good on you, but a lot of people are not going to be as lucky. Uh, that's why I never chase something on the way up. You, that's, and that's why we always say, buy low, sell high, not buy high, sell low, uh, as many people did. Um, so, look, it's your money. You're free to do what you want with it. Just be careful, especially if you're buying on margin all you need is a margin call that you can't pay back and you're gonna have big problem big problem so yeah just uh just be careful changing gears quite a bit i follow olivia munn on instagram because why not she's probably the most attractive person in the entire world right uh didn't know she was mixed race until I started following her, basically. Um, she has been very vocal, and rightfully so, about the amount of anti-Asian bias that is out there, has been going on. Um, you're probably only really seeing it in the news lately because it's really come to a head. But make no mistake, there has been anti-Asian bias, um, well, first of all, well before COVID was a thing. Um, but in, in, in specifically talking about COVID, there has been anti-Asian bias since the beginning. I mean, the former president called it the Chinese virus. Not saying that that isn't, strictly speaking, possibly accurate, because, I mean, who, who is going to tell us where it came from specifically, but certainly it seems like it came out of Wuhan, China. Um, but that has brought out a lot of bias. Um, I, my mom is a 71-year-old Asian woman. She's not Chinese. She's Japanese, but some fucking Looney Tune on the street isn't going to know or ask, hey, are you Chinese or Japanese, before they knock her out to the sidewalk. Which, if that happened, I would absolutely just go total vigilante and find that motherfucker. But that shit's happening, man. There was, uh, there was some fucking EDP over by the DA's office here in Manhattan by the prosecutor's office, are literally around the corner from the prosecutor's office, stabbed an Asian guy, I think in the back, because he, quote-unquote, didn't like the way he was looking at him, and then turned himself into the DA's office right there. But, like, what the fuck? Like, and I'm not diminishing, necessarily, uh, other anti- racist movements but you don't really hear about Asian bias because I don't know I, don't know. I wouldn't say nobody gives a shit about us because that's not true but it's been going on it's not that's nothing new it's nothing new it's nothing new I think if anything Asians are probably a little bit quieter about it because most Asians don't like that kind of attention. Certainly the old school Asians, they don't like that kind of attention. Um, 
which isn't necessarily better, right? Because if you don't call attention to something, how the fuck do you expect to fix it, right? So, uh, I don't know. But suffice it to say, I wish someone would try and knock me out for being Asian, because that would go very, very poorly for them. (laughs) Uh, Unless they, in fact, knocked me out on the first punch, in which case it would go poorly for me. But, uh, yeah, I would love someone to start some shit, (laughs) because that would... (laughs) Uh, that would that would not go over well. Uh, but anyway, kudos to um, my crush Olivia Munn for uh, really, really, really getting the word out there and getting uh, attention rightfully called to this this shit that's been going on for a year uh, Asian hate crimes were up tremendously from previous years during COVID um, so props to my girl Olivia Munn call me <laughs> nah, nah just kidding <laughs>